Hello, right, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. This is leg seven, and we are going from Sierra Charlie Indigo Delta to Sierra Charlie November Tango. This is uh, quite a windy route. It's a, it's a long one, it is a long one. Uh, distance 165 nautical miles. Um, ETA they're looking at saying an hour and 20 minutes so I will be cutting some of this out or what I'll do is I might speed the flight up as in in the video editing I'll speed the flight up so um, I will as you see I've altered my cam now it's just it's it's a little bit more in I could probably open it up again and let me know how you, how you feel about it this way compared to the other way but um, I'm going to get my autopilot all set up so there's the Ford director done and then if we zoom in we want let's uh, minimize that so we want 3,000 feet so let's get that to oh actually first of all let's level that off there we go let's get that right I that didn't do that last time so we're now let's set with the ground Height, that's fine 3,000 feet and I think my general my last must be a uh, bearing a 328 bearing a 328 so where are we at in a moment so we really get that real no go the wrong way let's go back the other way Right, three, two, eight. Three, two, eight. Right, that's that done. We'll stick uh, vertical speed and what speed we want to go when we get going. So let's come back out of that. Let's come back a bit. We are at where we landed last time. Oh, we really need to get some fuel so I need to remember how I did this last time right I forgot which one I'd set that to right there we go let's repair refuel I'd set that up on one of the buttons on my um, um, throttle quadrant right so we are now going to Get underway. Right, so autopilot is I will learn these controls at some point. Pilots on, and we need to do that. There we go, 500 foot, and so we should be now heading. It will pick up the route, and it swoop. It will swoop round. So we are at the moment. heading out and around so we're going to be heading out and around there so um, yeah I've got a direct flight set up on a uh, little nav map which if we flew direct it's only about six nautical miles and this is taking us a real real long route so um, once this gets up to 3,000 feet, which is climbing at a nice steady amount, um, let's jump out of there. Flaps are off, it's just climbing nice. 
I'll wait till we get to 3,000 feet and then I will probably pull this back a little bit um, let me see look it creeps which is a bit annoying really <laughs> right let's turn that the other way let's see if we can get this to lock off I might actually look at taking this apart and have a look inside see if there's a way of making this so that this works properly over there I might just uh, yeah Ooh. I might have it I might have got it I might have got it she's there she seems to be holding <coughs> so we are <coughs> zoom in on this one thousand feet and what I will do is I'm gonna set that the camera at about that and I'm probably gonna put it on the um, the other cam so that you don't get all of this on there so you can just see the scenery and everything while I uh, speed it up um, but we'll get to 3,000 feet first, which that's uh, for this flight um, is the what I call minimum safe flight because the ground gets up to about 2,000 feet at one point, so it gives us a thousand foot clearance over the top. Um, but we can uh, get 3,000 feet. We'll pull back on the. Um, throttle so that we can drop the rift slightly and we can cruise and I will turn off so you'll have my big fat head sitting in there um, while uh, you enjoy the flight which is going to be reasonably no I say reasonably long I'm going to actually sort it so we are not flying on the autopilot at the moment by the looks of it we are flying off route. Right, so I turned autopilot on. I didn't turn nav on, so we probably were. Well, we weren't that far out, I don't think. Um, to be honest with you, we are now flying over. this bit here anyway so we weren't far out really we're just catching on to the the flight path yeah so this is this bit cutting through here it's probably this bit here actually to be honest with you um, yeah so we weren't that far off we hadn't, it hadn't given us a warning or anything so it's we're at 3,000 feet. I'm now going to drop that to. At 23. That gives us 100 and.
Right, there we go. I'm going to leave that like that. This is on uh, like the drone cam. While that um, does, this is going to be. It's actually kept my number on it. So I'll leave that to fly that like that. And uh, yeah, I will be back. I will speed this up and I'll be back when we get nearer the end of the flight.
left bank here and then we are going to be heading in towards a runway which should be around here somewhere uh, no not there we'll fly over that and it'll be up here somewhere up here I don't know which way the runway is but we will soon find out um, but as soon as we've banked left I'm going to take it down to uh, about a thousand thousand so let's jump inside and we will there and then outs When we, when we turn that on, we will reduce, and I can do that from here actually. We'll leave it inside at the moment, and we will do that. Um, quick look at this one, so let's see which way. Oh, right, okay. As we turn. As we turn the room, the runway should actually be better what's that look like on that yeah that'll do right here we go so we're banking in we're now about on oh, as per my map we are sh actually we're not that close are we uh, we're still quite a way out we've got a bit of a way to go actually if that's coming across Yeah, we've got a little bit longer yet before we uh, start descending. Um, we don't need to descend till we get to about six and a half nautical miles. So that this you see, this is where little nav map comes in handy because it shows I'm still a fair way out. I've got a little bit to go before we get to the where we need to descend, but I might descend a little bit earlier just so that I'm not. Um, rushing I want to get down there quite quite quick um, so or not down there quite quick. I want to rather get down there a little bit earlier so I'm not having to rush to get things I want to want to be able to come in nice nice and easy so we are flying over this bit here at the moment yeah so I think when we get probably just to the other side here I start descending there you know what I think we'll descend now I'm just gonna do it it's all flat so it's not a problem so vertical speed down let's go 400 pull back on the throttle actually we can wind a bit off on the RPM as well. I forgot this one. I can separate between the main here. So th this is this is your RPM. I can set this. Out. I think this is your prop speed, and this is the main. This is the engine. Well, that's the engine RPM, and that's your prop speed. I'm not. It's one or the other. One one does your prop speed. I'm sure it is. One does your prop speed, and one does the RPM for the engine. So I, in between the two of them, you get your speed. Um, so I'm going to pull that back. Uh, I want actually want to keep the engine about. Yeah, I want to bring the RPMs down, which hopefully should reduce the speed. I think. 
Something like that. Well, we're coming, we're coming down anyway. So the runway is actually just after the town here. So the, the runway's about here somewhere. Um, it's actually quite a bit after the town by looks of it. So it might be actually up here. Um, cars, yeah. So yeah, because P and T that should be the town, and then that's the airfield. So yeah, it's a little bit past this in a bit. Yeah, so the town's here and the and the airport's here. So it's probably this here then. I think and it should be running sort of almost well it's not running north it's running sort of northwest so it's uh yeah it's it's on a, what was the last nav log uh yeah 320 yeah 328 so it's on a yeah think where that little light is there I think that's it there I'm sure it is so when we so we are looking at coming we're just coming up to here so we're about here somewhere at the moment where are we at just under 2,000 so we should hit about a thousand just going over the top of the town Which is PNT, which I don't know what that town name is. I'll have a look on my little nav map, map that might tell me. Uh, Natals or something. Perutonatals. So, anyway, somewhere like that. <laughs> so, right. How are we looking? We're at 17, coming up 1700. Um, so that's the road comes around there and it should curve around again so it should be about here somewhere I'm sure it should it should be sort of in this general area oh look you see that there's the lights they're there that's it there I'm sure it is let's come outside and have a look yeah we we'll get to see the town as well now Nice. Swim down to fourteen hundred feet. Cutting across the town. Is there a baseball for soccer soccer ground there or is that? It's something like that. Would be a football ground if it was uh, in the UK. Could be uh, yeah, that's uh, it could be American football actually, it'd be American football, won't it? Um Better tell by the markings when we go over the top. Uh, so that looks like a football ground to. Yeah. That's like British football. That's definitely British football. Unless they keep the same markings for both. Right, so we're over that. We should be getting to about 11,000. And I think the end of the runway is here. So I'm going to be turning the. Uh, And turn the um, autopilot off so then we need to drop that because it's going up too high let's have one flaps pull that back that's better Single flaps. Yeah, there's the. Uh, yep, there it is. Let's get on the rudders. Let's do two flaps just in case.
Pull back on the stick. Come on, pull back on that. That's it. <sighs> That'll do. We're well, there. That was a. That was a fast landing. Could have done without slowing it down a bit more, really. But we're down. We're there. We've done it. We've completed it. Uh, our 36. So a little bit longer than uh, they reckoned. So, yeah, that's leg 7 done. Um, I can't remember how many legs there are on this. I think it was something like 10, wasn't it? Um, so we're getting close. The next one's another long one by the looks of it. Um, we are... 4.5 nautical miles distance 27 so El Cafe El Cafe Calafate El Calafate that's why well, I suppose he um, so SCMT vicinity place well I'm there I definitely landed on the runway anyway so the next one is right on the edge as well so that'll be in leg eight. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go back to the bush trips menu because we've done that one. So um, we're doing all right. We've done done seven. So that was that was uh, like I say coming a bit fast, but we got it down and we landed without crashing, which is uh, the main objective. Wasn't as neat as the last one on leg six, and I'm sure um, there will be worse and there will be better while I'm still <laughs> learning. So let's uh, go in and have a look. So there's 14, so we've just passed halfway. So the next one is a long one 151.33 nautical miles, and then we start coming down again. Second to last is reasonably long, and the last one is reasonably short-ish. Um, yeah, so we're getting there, which is quite nice. Um, we are on and past that one, haven't we? Is that the one we're on? This is the one I think we're on. one we're going to yeah so that's one that's one we're landing on yeah so we come in this way we landed here I don't think we're coming that way so we did all right there um, this one though we're we gonna be coming in this way or we're we gonna be coming this way does it I suppose it doesn't really matter does it but anyway thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed it until next time keep it in the sky and uh, we'll see you again soon goodbye